Hello, this is a note on how to load geo-referenced uh, weather maps into, uh, into QTVLM. And then once we have the professionally made uh, National Weather Service weather maps loaded in, then we can load uh, numerical weather model GRIB files on top of them, and that's a way to evaluate the GRIB files. And we have discussions, I'll make a link to an article about why that's so important that we compare the GRIB files to these professional maps. And uh, this pro uh, the program QTVLM has one of the nicest systems available for doing that. It's a regular navigation program with uh, ENCs and RNCs and uh, weather, uh, many weather features. But now we look at just one loading these maps. And so what we might do is let me go back to the Ocean Prediction Center and just say we might want uh, this. Now we're going to put in a link so that if you're working or studying at home or uh, you know at, on land, these things are going to just automatically you open up the program, go click, click, and it's going to load the map. But if you're at sea, you're going to have to request these maps. For example, the, the example I'm going to do, well, let me just look at the Atlantic. And you see, here's the Atlantic. Here's the Atlantic map. And we would like to load that ge automatically geo-referenced into the program. And or the same thing uh, for the Pacific, uh, this Pacific map right here, these two. Okay, and you see there's the link. You can copy that link. We need to know those links eventually. And then uh, so forth. The one I'm going to do a demo of here is, um, 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 what's it? You, I'm going to do what's the best map for this uh, Caribbean area in Mexico, th this down here. This is, I think, probably the best map that we have available for the Caribbean. I'll have to double check that, but I think that's my... That's my thinking of it right now. So I'm going to just do this one as an example. So here's the link we need. I'm going to copy that link right now. Okay, so there, uh, and I'm going to, oh, and here, by the way, I'm going to, we're going to download these directly into the program. But here is how you get these if you're at C. This is Gmail. So I'm on, I make a Gmail that looks like this and I'm sending it to uh, query at, uh, query at saledocs.com. And it says here send. And that's that link to the one we're just doing. And here's the one for the Atlantic. And you just send that command, and in and this, and then you'll get back in your inbox. You'll get this mail, and then attached to it will be that map. And that you can do no matter where you are in the world. You can do that right now. Just send that email and get that thing back to you. And you're just saying the mail, the the message you send is uh, send, and then the URL. Okay, that's it. Well, yeah. Okay, and you get that from Noah. So. That's the way that works. All right, so we're back in the program, and here's where that functionality is. We go to Grib, uh, Weather Images, Open a Weather Image. Now I'm going to go down to Box 4 here and show the, do this from scratch. Now there's different ways to do this, but... Um, Okay, so uh, box four. So for, I want to activate it. I've got others stored already, and I don't want to confuse things. I want this, I want them to know I'm working on item four. Then I don't want to lock it because I'm going to have to adjust it once I load it. Then here I just want to put here I put the URL. See, that's the URL to uh, to the National Weather, uh, to the o Ocean Prediction Center. Oh, now let's see. I should have looked at that. Let me look at that map my inbox Mexico alright let's just look at that I'm gonna have to have some kind of rough idea of the dimensions just to get it started so the north corner here um, the north it looks like this is the bottom looks like here looks like the Galapagos that's probably zero so it looks like it's going zero up to this is 30 so you see that's 15 20 25 30 so it goes like 35 something like zero to 35 so the north latitude here is about this doesn't have to be at all exact here uh, this has to be 35 and then the uh, the corner the west the west it's on the west, and so what longitude do we have here? This is 90, 75, 90, so that's about 105, maybe about 110, 
again you'll see in a minute that this is not that critical 110 and now what's the range in longitude the range in long and again we just have to do this once once we get this locked in you never have to do it again so this is like 110 and this is like 75 maybe 70 70 to 110 30, that's uh, 40 40 40 I'll call that 40 oh, no let's see I'll call it 40.0 okay that's that now what what do we say the latitude was we look back here 0 to 35 oh that was easy okay latitude range is 35 let's see if that's even close uh, we want to unlock it see this locks it that unlocks it activate it that's the link it goes online we're going to find out if that's right in a minute and uh, we're on uh, we're on item number four and say okay go okay so there it is now it's not quite right you see now we now we just see we can just grab this and move it around but i can just put this here's on florida and then here's this one then you can just like pull this over you see i pull that over to lines up there pretty well now florida is off so you got to get away from this boat by the way um or if i hit this boat you see it's going to turn stuff on uh, so uh, now I pull it back over here. Florida's back there is pretty good. Now this side seems to want to be stretched a little bit. Now you can you can practice and you know you could if you want to you could print one of these out and figure the scale all by yourself automatically. But look, we can see these grids through here. You know you can see these grids. Um, let me move this up. We don't have this bottom. I'm gonna zoom in. We don't have this bottom one right. You see, that's not lined up right. But I can just, uh, let me pull that down a little bit. Where are the lines? Oh, you see, the 15, I just got right on the 15. This is a 90. I can get on the 90 over there. That all looks pretty good. Uh, this should be 75 and zero. One way to check yourself you see, if I look in here, um, this should be uh, 75 and 0. It looks like I could come down just a hair. But you could always do this. Just go in here and put a new mark. And then just put that at 0. Right, 0. And put that at, oh, 75. You know, you could, you're just planting some references. 0, 0, 0, 0 and just call it whatever we don't care right now what it's called zero zero okay 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 so now you see you have a reference oh okay so we gotta get back on the same uh, that's all pretty close okay so that's that is then got that map pretty good and you can you see how you can play with that to get it better but that's also pretty close so then when you're done when you're done here you go back over here grib weather images open a weather image now activate oh no I, let's see it defaulted to number one which is locked I want to go to four now I want to lock four and activate it and that's okay so now we've got four looks like that and any and that's linked now if I come back tomorrow morning and open up this thing and go to figure four it's not going to be this one it's going to be the one it's going to update automatically so it's a really powerful tool for example I did just a while ago it took a couple minutes not more not you know maybe 10 minutes but where is this grib open weather images open a weather image now let's go look at this number one here okay let's see if that still works yeah see there's the there I got that oh, that's all I have to do and that's the latest one or I go grib uh, weather images open an image what did I do number two number two yeah number two okay whoops no I didn't you got to be sure which one is uh, activated okay 
You li live and learn. Okay. Okay, so this is activated. I don't want that one. I want number two. I want to activate it. Oh, and it can be locked. It's okay. Yeah, there you go. You see, now I've got this one over here. And you see, what you could do at this point is then you come in here, and I can just say, look here. Then I go and get a grib file. Wind and pressure. Uh... It's just for two days. Yeah, that's good enough. Download the grib. Wait a minute. What's going on? Did I pick a mod? Oh, I'm in the wrong part of the world. For uh, that's not. Oh, that model's not in this section. Okay. Download a grib. Now everybody should. Oh, now I have to work with the transparencies. Um, you, you can go back here and change the transparencies. But the point is that this, this, this map time, these are going to both be the latest models because I just downloaded both of them. And so then you can then look at these and uh, experiment with the transparencies. And you see this front. You see this. Uh, ob you see obviously there's something going on here. Here's a wind going this way along this side and this way along this side. So there is a front, you know, and so forth. So this is a really powerful tool for studying marine weather, and uh, I'll let it go at that. And um, the, we have other other program other uh, uh, movies about this uh, program.